an example of this process. Typically, only the G54 code is used to store the needed offset for work zero. The other offset codes may be used if a group of parts are the same except for their length. This is referred to as a family of parts. Each of the part lengths can then be easily machined by simply changing the active code from the group. The G54 code is normally only used when preset tooling is available. Preset tools are tools which have been measured on a presetter. This device allows the X and Z axis value for each tool to be measured. These values are then entered into the tool offsets as the geometry offsets. Since this establishes the location of the tool tip for each tool, the only thing that remains to be found is the location of program zero on the workpiece. The coordinate values placed in the G54 location of the offset table represent the distance to work zero from machine zero. Since the center line of the spindle represents work zero in X for most workpieces, it is common that only the Z axis value will need to be changed in the G54 offset location for each new part being set up. Because X0 does not change from part to part, it does not need to be entered. On this Haas control, press the Settings Graphics key to display the parameter setting screen. Setting 33, the coordinate system, must be set to FANUC for the G54 code functions to work. Notify your supervisor if it is set to YASNAC. Begin by placing the control in the jog mode. Display the offset page by pressing the offset key. Press the up arrow key to display the work zero offsets page. Place the cursor on the z-axis value of the G54 offset. G54 is the default offset established during power up. Perform a home operation if it has not been done recently. Next, jog the turret to a safe location for indexing. Find an appropriate turning tool for facing the workpiece manually. It must be a tool that has a correct tool offset value entered for it in the offset table. If you have any questions about which tool to use, contact your supervisor. You'll learn more about tool offsets in future lessons. Enter the selected tool's number on the keypad and press the Next Tool function key. Start the spindle manually by pressing either Spindle Forward or Reverse. The type of cutting tool selected will determine which button to press to complete a face cut. Position the tool manually and complete a face cut on the workpiece. Move the tool away only in the x-axis direction. Stop the spindle and turn off the coolant if necessary. Measure the distance to the Z0 location on the part. In this case, Z0 should be 5 inches, 135 thousandths from the front face of the chuck jaws. The actual measured value from the chuck to the face of the workpiece is 5 inches, 187 thousandths, for a difference of 52 thousandths. Press the Z face measure function key. Enter the calculated value for the distance to Z0. In our example,